This week, OpenAI is making some seriously ambitious moves. When a company puts an AI agent to work finding security holes before the bad guys do, that's a real practical use case that actually matters. Welcome to Augmented You. I am your host Timo and on this channel we equip you with all the information needed to thrive in the age of AI. If you're new to the channel, welcome, thanks for stopping by. We post videos every week covering all the key happenings in the AI world. Because here at Augmented You, we believe that you should be mastering AI and not the other way around. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you get notified every time we post a new video. If you've been following us for a while and are already a member of this community, thank you, welcome back, and we really appreciate having you around. This week, OpenAI is making some seriously ambitious moves, from AI-powered security researchers to a completely reimagined web browser. Meanwhile, the AI safety conversation is heating up with new open source tools and research that reveals just how differently AI models interpret right and wrong. Let's dive in. First up, OpenAI just announced Artwork. And no, this isn't some quirky code name. This is a full-blown AI security researcher powered by GPT-5 that's now in private beta. Think of it as an autonomous security guard for your code base. Here's what makes this interesting. Instead of traditional fuzzing techniques, Artwork actually reads your code like a human security researcher would. It runs tests, and validates exploits in sandboxed environments, continuously scanning your repositories to identify and propose patches for serious security flaws. And get this, it achieved a 92% detection rate on benchmark tests and has already discovered 10 CVE identified vulnerabilities in real open source projects. The really smart part, it integrates seamlessly and natively with GitHub and Codex, offering one-click patching without slowing down your development workflow. OpenAI is even planning to offer pro bono scanning to select non-commercial projects. When a company puts an AI agent to work finding security holes before the bad guys do, that's a real practical use case that actually matters. But OpenAI didn't stop there. Before launching Artwork, they launched Atlas, a completely AI-native web browser with ChatGPT built into its core. And I mean truly built in, not just as an extension that you bolt on. Here's where it gets interesting. ChatGPT can now assist you anywhere on the web. It can understand context from all the pages that you're on and complete tasks without you having to ever copy and paste or leave the page. There's also an optional browser memories feature where ChatGPT remembers key details from the sites you visited in the past. Imagine asking ChatGPT, find all job postings I looked at last week, and it actually works. Of course, you have full control to view, archive, or delete all of your previous memories. For Plus, Pro, and Business users, there's an agent mode that lets ChatGPT autonomously perform tasks, like researching, automating workflows, planning events, even booking appointments by opening new tabs and interacting with websites on your behalf. Now, before you freak out about privacy, they've built in controls, per site toggles for what ChatGPT can see, an incognito mode, and the agent has strong safety guardrails. It can't run code, download files, or access your file system, and it automatically pauses on sensitive sites like banking, but still, we're talking about an AI that browses the web for you. That's a significant shift in how we interact with the internet. Meanwhile, Anthropic isn't sitting still either. They just released Cloud 4.5 Haiku, which achieves Sonnet 4 performance at one third the cost and twice the speed. It's now available on AWS Bedrock and is optimized for real-time low latency tasks. This is the kind of incremental improvement that might sound boring at first, but actually makes AI practical for more use cases. Now here's a strategic move worth paying attention to. Cursor just released their own custom model. For those who don't know, Cursor has been one of the most popular AI-powered coding IDEs, but they've primarily been building on top of other companies' models. This release signals a major shift. They're moving away from just being an agentic IDE wrapper and building their own foundational tech. And frankly, they have to. 
with Anthropic and OpenAI releasing their own coding tools like Codex or Claude, Cursor faces an existential threat. This is a classic case of stop shipping LLM wrappers or die. If you're just wrapping someone else's models, you're vulnerable the moment that company decides to compete directly with you. Cursor clearly knows this, and they're making the right moves. On the safety front, OpenAI just open sourced two safety models, GPT OSS Safeguard. It's available in a 20 billion and a 120 billion parameter variant. What makes these interesting is that they're reasoning based, not just simple classification systems. They allow for custom safety guidelines and actually be GPT-5 on safety tasks. Now here's the nuance. Custom classifiers can still perform better in fixed safety scenarios where clear guidelines are available that enable you to create a specific training data set. However, these models from OpenAI were evaluated on the toxic chat benchmark and perform very strongly. So while open sourcing safety models is a positive step for the community, it's not a civil bullet, context as usual matters. Speaking of safety, Anthropic just published research that should make everyone in AI sit up and pay attention. They stress tested LLM specifications by generating over 300,000 scenarios that force value trade-offs between competing ethical principles. They evaluated 12 frontier models from the likes of Anthropic, OpenAI, Google and XAI, and found over 70,000 scenarios out of the 300,000 where different models gave fundamentally different answers to the same ethical questions. And here's the kicker. When models strongly disagree on how to handle a scenario, it's actually a red flag that all of them are probably getting it wrong. It means the underlying rules and specifications are unclear or somehow fundamentally flawed. Not just one model is messing up but the entire specification has fundamental issues. The research revealed direct contradictions between principles and interpretive ambiguities across all current model specifications. High disagreement scenarios exposed numerous unnecessary refusals and misalignment cases. Even LLM judges, that is to say AI models evaluating other AI models, showed only moderate agreement with a kappa score of 0.42 when assessing spec, spec compliance. What's fascinating is that models showed systematic value preferences along company lines. Anthropic's Claude prioritizes ethics, while OpenAI emphasizes efficiency. These aren't bugs. These are reflections of the different philosophical approaches baked into these LLMs. This research matters because it reveals that current specifications lack the granularity to distinguish response quality, even when all responses technically comply. The methodology provided is a scalable diagnostic tool for identifying specification problems, and the generated data set will be useful for further stress testing and improving model specifications going forward. So what's the big picture here? We're seeing OpenAI make aggressive moves into practical applications, from security research to reimagining the web browser itself. Meanwhile, companies like Cursor are realizing they need to build their own models to survive. And underneath all of this, the AI safety conversation is maturing. We're moving beyond simple, is this toxic or not style classification, to understanding how different AI systems and LLMs make fundamentally different ethical judgments. The question isn't, can AI do this task anymore? It's whose values is this AI following? And do we understand the trade-offs being made? That's a wrap for this week's AI breakthroughs. What story caught your attention the most? Are you excited about Atlas or concerned about AI agents browsing the web on your behalf? Drop a comment below and don't forget to subscribe for more AI news. Until next week, keep building.